California is the latest state to try to regulate the devices. But how far should the ban go? And will parents sign on? When it comes to banning cell phones in schools, success could be determined by the details. Do bans apply only to classrooms, or also to hallways, bathrooms, and cafeterias, where students are much more likely to be absorbed in TikTok or text messages? Do teachers have the freedom to override bans if phones are being used as part of a lesson? Should school districts purchase devices to lock or hide phones? What about distractions from other types of screens, laptops, tablets, and smartwatches? And what about some parents who like the idea of being able to reach their children 24-7? Those were just some of the questions that faced Governor Gavin Newsom of California after he announced that his state would be the latest, after Florida and Indiana, to pursue a school cell phone ban. Teachers who have tried to restrict cell phone use on their own said limits can be difficult to enforce, if only because phones have become so embedded into daily life, perceived as necessary for practical and emotional reasons. Yet some districts with a comprehensive policy have had success, overcoming resistance and seeing a change in student behavior. Naomi Frierson, 44, a fifth grade teacher in the Tampa, Florida area, said little had changed for her since Governor Ron DeSantis imposed a statewide ban last year on smartphone use in classrooms. She had already required students to put phones in a storage pouch that hangs on the wall away from their desks. But, she added, she understands that phones are a useful communication tool for students who walk home alone from school or who care for a younger sibling in the afternoons. The possibility of a smartphone ban in schools in Apple's home state of California looks increasingly likely after Governor Gavin Newsom added his support. The move follows an opinion piece by the U.S. Surgeon General proposing a warning label on social media apps, given the mental health risks they pose to adolescents. Update. New York's governor has signed into law two bills restricting social media. For kids, the idea of banning the use of smartphones during the school day is nothing new. A UN report last year noted that one in four countries around the world has already implemented one and called on the rest to follow. UNESCO argues that, in addition to the specific problems caused by smartphone use at school, it's also important to send a message that face-to-face -face human communication needs to be prioritized over screen time. The policy of allowing children to bring phones to school, while banning their use during the day, would still allow parents to contact children to arrange pickup once the school day has ended. Governor Gavin Newsom yesterday promised legislation. As the Surgeon General affirmed, social media is harming the mental health of our youth. Building on legislation I signed in 2019, I look forward to working with the legislature to restrict the use of smartphones during the school day. When children and teens are in school, they should be focused on their studies, not their screens. When I was in school 15 years ago, phones were not allowed to be out. This is nothing new as many school districts already have bans. I guess this is more a mandatory guideline for the remaining school districts or just to give more enforcement. The New York Times reports that the laws voted in favor of a ban later the same day. His directive came hours before board members at the Los Angeles Unified School District, the country's second largest school district, voted to pursue their own smartphone ban that could begin in January. There seems to be a growing consensus in favor of these bans. In our poll, the majority of you supported a ban. Florida and Indiana have implemented their own restrictions, and New York Governor Kathy Hochul last month promised a statewide ban next year. Last year, a study by Common Sense Media found that 97% of teenagers use cell phones during the school day. A study released in April by the Pew Research Center found that 72% of U.S. high school teachers and 33% of middle school teachers said cell phone distractions were a major problem in classrooms.